What is up, everybody on YouTube? Hello, welcome. Jumping into Eden runs right now. Let's double check mods are off. New run. Eden, 181, hard mode. Go. 182. Same issue with my Aver Media Capture cards. Yeah. Yeah. Start with a quarter and a way to get more money. It's going to be a money run today. Let's go. That's that's a thing that I, I, I've i gone with Aver Media too in the past, and I, I don't think I'm going to go back. Elgato just, just has the market cornered for right now. Really good speed. I'm, I'm, I'm zipping. I'm zipping around. We got good damage. Fire rate's totally fine. So great great stats. No complaints there. E Catman, 12 bunts. What's up? Early uh, IV bag means free curse rooms. Quote unquote free. And we can be smart about uh, saving our health. We'd love to save this soul heart as well for the next floor. This dude wants to set up a, a fire and then fart me into it. Weird seeing Eden run before it being on YouTube. First item run. We got Houndstooth is small damage up, and it's gonna tell me where my secret rooms are and crawl spaces. Not where they they are technically, but what room they're in. This is one off of this room. We can, we can hear that. Don't have any bombs though. Of course. And the tinted rock as well. Explosive diarrhea. I feel like it's it's a little silly to use pills. First floor is Eden. Let's see here. We got a dip blow immediately. I don't know if there's gonna be something that I want to dip blow. I might not to dip blow, because I would like to really leave with this IV bag. IV bag's pretty good. Pretty useful early game. There's another. Oh, there's a bark bark. Do you hear that? That was just... Th this room is dumb. It's not a good room. Oh, I don't like that. You gotta make a room this difficult in order to, to add challenge into the game. Top secret room off of this. But it was Bark Bark. That means crawl space somewhere. I need a freaking bomb here, man. Freaking A, dude. Burning basement is the worst. Yeah, what I would consider this is, this is not even difficulty, this is pseudo difficulty in that room. I'm just gonna buy the bomb, I think. I'm just gonna, why don't we just buy the bomb? You think that we could get more bombs from a tinted rock? I can get a crawl space too, or I can go secret room and get a key. There's a lot of options here. A lot of options here. Throw me a freaking bomb here. Self-care with explosives. Yeah, this is a tough one, because I want to get all of it, obviously. Top secret room maybe is even, even a better one, but... Uh, we're going to go secret room, hope we get bombs in there. And I was hoping that we'd get the crawl space as well, because we do... We did know. That was Bork Bork. I'm going to go ahead and take our little Loki. I'm not super excited about it. I, I'm, I'm really not excited about the fact that little Loki shoots red shots. It's really difficult to know... You know, is that an enemy shot? Should I be dodging that or not? Lots of money. Money, 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 money. But right now I'm going to focus on the tinted rocks. I already have a soul heart. Might as well just go for it. And then you know what? I'm going to go... No, I'm going to go out the tinted rock. It's going to give me a bomb from the other tinted rock. Because the top secret room is going to have nothing but a eternal heart in it. Yeah. I'm not upset. Not upset about getting the soul hearts. It's a lot of spice over there too. If I could get like a light car. Whoa! First floor planetarium. Sixteen months. Let's go. Not unheard of, but odd. Happy to have a key. Quasi Lee, sixteen months. Thank you so much for that. I, I didn't call out the other people. I'm sorry. Made you look Riza and uh, E Catman. Thank you. Thank you for that. This one is... Ooh. My brain's working, my brain's working, my brain's working. Is that Venus? HP up. You feel pretty. Enemies are charmed and they get too close to us. It seems pretty lame. It's actually really, really strong. Uh, like, all spiders, all flies, anything that's gonna get... Hit, gonna hit you with uh, contact damage, is what I'm trying to say. It's just gonna literally be turned away. So, it's... It's decent. And the health up, I'm happy to have it. 
Our health is looking real good for first floor here. Of course, bosses, uh, you can only affect them with a status effect once every, like, five seconds. And it lasts for a short amount of time, I think. Oh, that was a... That's a good one. Sometimes Baby Plum gets you. With the, the, the random shots. Diplo the boss. I could get another health item, and that's, I guess that's not a bad idea if we want to go Devil Deal. I was going to, like, I was going to kind of knock it there, but I could have Diplo to get another bomb from this. I could have just Diplo everything in here, but 15 cents for, for more health if I have an IV bag. Yeah. IV bag really would say, you know, you should be going, um... You should be going to Angel Rooms because you want to keep the health because then you can make the money. Jupiter F tier. Elias Shepard, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I appreciate you. Diplo Devil Deal. Yeah, but that's not, a, you know, I could have maybe, I could have Diplo the, the Venus, but I don't think that even stacks. So we'll do this. Puberty. That's fine. One more Puberty Pill and we'll have another health up. Another chance for a better trinket. Sack per floor? Or do we want to have Blue Baby Soul with us? I'm gonna go maybe sack, lucky sack per floor. Kind of expensive, but once again, once again, twice again, thrice again, probably at this point in time. Uh, we have an IV bag. Wait, is that the puberty pill? That's the same pill. It makes more sense for us to actually save. We're gonna, we're, we're not gonna do that because, um, I mean, I, I just, arcade is so good, but another health up, like we'll probably get it later, right? I don't know, man. That's a tough call. I really like second floor arcade. Use IV bag. Just IV, IV bag. I, I should have been using the IV bag because of the plus one healing on my, my other things. But now at this point in time, I'm kind of feeling like I should save it for, uh, instead of using it now to get them. Oh, you're saying, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm, I, I'm following you. Sorry, I'm a little slow today. You're saying use the IV bag here. I was trying to save the health for the next floor as well as the money. But you're saying just, just rip it. And that's fine. That makes sense. I was uh, two steps ahead, but really three steps behind, thinking that I wanted to save my health for a blood donation machine instead of using the IV bag, because then I could get a blood bag, which is all but guaranteed right now. But whatever, it's... We're, we're playing 5D chess. And by 5D chess, I mean 5 dick. This is, this is what I was trying to save my health for. Hi, Dad. Plus one heart. I, I was assuming we would get it later anyways, that it wasn't a big deal, but yeah. There's, there's a lot going on. There's so much to, to think about. There's that Venus. Working hard. Beard on the back of your head is freaking me out. Yeah, we do have a puberty beard on our back of our head. The back of your head is ridiculous. Can I have your number? Can I have it? Set of numbers when entered telephonically. Will connect me with your fine ass. There's our IV bag working for us. To get into our curse rooms without spending soul hearts. Guppy's paw. It's interesting. I decided to go for it. We have so much health. I think a lot of soul hearts right now is a victory. You know what else is a victory? Getting a secret room in a floor where you can't see the map. That's quite nice. And a free entrance into our shop. Sharp plug. It's an item. I usually try not to go with Sharp Plug. I have killed myself a couple of times by 
being dumb with the sharp plug. And uh, if I were to do that on an Eden streak, I would never be able to forgive myself. So it's like the potential pain isn't worth the potential gain from being able to use it. But I just need to get over that. That's a me issue. Chad, how's it going? How are you? Pretty done with Isaac for now, at least. I play it on Xbox. I've had it completely reset on me a few times out of nowhere. I think I'm just going to wait till I have a PC to play it again. Yeah. That sucks. That was no good. I have not had that happen on me, but I'm on PC, so... It just, uh, yeah, it does feel like, you know... PC always gets priority for stuff. Is there anything that you guys feel like is better on console than PC? I'm sure there are some. How do you get two Cracker Jacks? Uh, cheating. Console commands. No. Not true. Diplo. Bing, 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 bing. Lots of health today. Uh, health slash money run. Don't want to jump into this thing and try to get a blood bag. At this point in time, I don't even need a blood bag. We've gone beyond blood bags. Got Witcher 3 on console because I didn't want to play a 300 hour game sitting at my desk instead of lying on the couch. You guys have the Steam Deck Connect, whatever it is. The little, tiny little box you plug into your TV that streams from your PC. That with a wired connection is pretty good. Pretty good. Love Steam Deck. Play Isaac in bed. Yeah, there's the Steam Deck. I don't know why they, they did it like that, but there's the little guy. Not the, not the handheld, right? Which the handheld is great, too. Um, but they sold this little thing. I want to say it was called a Steam Deck or a Steam Connect. And they, they at one point in time, I think it's because no one bought it. They ended up selling them for a dollar. Steam Link? Thank you. That's probably it. Steam Link. They sold the damn thing for a dollar. And I'm like, it would be irresponsible for me not to buy the max amount. No, I, I only bought one. But it's great. And then I wire this. I, I already have these weird wires going all over my house to try to get a wired connection down to my PC because it's like a couple rooms away that I have my router because it's in the middle of the house. It would not make sense to put it down here. Anyways, um, I just use that same thing to then just plug it directly into my Steam Link. That's great. I have friends over. We can play. We can stream games directly from here to that on the, the TV. Haven't heard, haven't had a great history with hardware. Yeah, I'm just saying a dollar beats buying a, an Xbox, in my opinion. You like that, how I, how I charmed him? He spawned a bunch of his children and then immediately ate them in front of us because he was charmed. We have PJs, so it would make sense for me to try to use as many soul hearts as possible in this room. This. Doesn't sound like the best idea on a health run, but here we are. We have it. We got it. I mean, I can get myself into it with the IV bag, so that's that's nice. Nothing wrong with that. Gimpy IV is good, too. The deck is a killer, too. Two, 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 two. I'm charmed. Oh, we didn't even find the top secret room in the last part, did we? What are we doing? Sleeping? On this hound's tooth? Cracked crown is gonna be a good one. It takes stat ups that you have from your other items and then increases it even more. Let, let's read the wiki on that one. I just feel like I don't really know what I'm talking about when I say that. Just repeating phrases that I've heard. Isaac. Cracked crown. Uh, that's canceled. 
Let's see here. Boost speed range, shot speed damage, and tiers if they are above their base values. Effects, stat, bonuses from passive items, trinkets that are absorbed or in a second trinket slot, and permanent bonuses given by items such as void. So it's not just items that you've gotten, it's all stat increases. The extra stat upgrades are 20% of any final stat calculations over its base value. For example, with 4.5 damage, it is 1 damage over base 3.5, and the 1 damage gets buffed to 1.2, ending up with a total of 4.7 damage. For fire right multiplier change, what is considered to be base value, so with soy milk, only tier ups above 15 will gain bonuses. Interesting. Okay, so it's just interesting. Uh, exception is eyedroppers, which gains a bonus to its 1.2x fire rate multiplier if it's above base. Sure. Super confusing, but it takes your stat ups and it makes them even more ups. It's basically the same information that we already had, but... At least I feel more comfortable saying it. 22? 20%? Fortune cookie is not a bad item. I, I think it gets a bad rap. Fortune telling machines are pretty good. And the crystal ball is also good. And the fortune cookie is just a crystal ball of lights. Just doesn't give you the uh, mapping effect, right? Gimpy doing its thing. So it's a stat up. It's not a stat up though, because if you don't have stat ups, it doesn't give you anything. If you said that it's a stat up and I picked it up and then I got nothing, I'd be like, this trinket is trash and you're a liar, right? You could upset some people. You can upset some people. You could take Dull Razor, it basically does the same thing as IV bed to get in and out of the curse room, but... Wait a second. PJs plus blanket should do something, shouldn't it? I feel like it should do something. Reverse Stars card gets rid of your first... Uh, item that you gained and gives you two more it would get rid of hounds tooth at this point in time Which actually sounds like it could be okay if I use it in a secret room. Would that be worth it? Rainbow poop heels. Yeah, I'm just give me a minute chat I, I'm doing things. I, I think it's probably worth it. We'll find our secret rooms anyways You know this could have been better Maybe I'll get a per throw still. I think that this is pretty good infamy. I think it's worth having. We got a book touch out of it, I guess. And some compass. What a horrible night to have a curse. Rainbow poop. We do it all over again. There's that health money bill that I was talking about. We we I love this break. Eat each other. Do it for my love. Boom 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 boom. Just sit still, thank you. Couldn't stand the thought of hurting me. I moved from mobile to PC. How's he getting soul hearts? Gimpy has like a... What is it? 20% chance to pay out with a... Soul heart? Or 8%? I think it's 8% actually. I think it's pretty low. Chance of getting a soul heart payout. Pontane damage. I think Jamie just had it yesterday and it was 8%. Oh, okay. We're just gonna go ahead and do that. I'm fine. I'm fine. If you get Bozo, there's actually a good chance of completely snapping the game in half. Bozo has a chance to drop a uh, rainbow poop upon taking damage, which would give me a full heal. Wait, I really wish I wouldn't have taken that penny. Um, I think the keys are just worth having. You know, I, I could have rerolled them with the two, but here's what I can do. I, I can go ahead and try to get my health back. Get uh, a bunch of pennies in the ground with IV bag and then reroll all of those. 
Sounds pretty nice. I haven't gotten into my curse room yet because I just was... I'm, I'm distracted. There's just so many things going on right now. I can actually afford to lose some soul heart on the way out too. There's another soul heart waiting for me. Somewhere waiting for me. My ball store, my pee. My lover stands on golden sands. Soul locket or candy heart would be chef's kiss. Maybe I can get a heart from here. I'm gonna take it as red health instead of. <laughs> this is wacky. Does it reroll the only the room only or whole floor? Two is room only, three is whole floor. Do you guys even dice room? Four is all item pedestals on the floor besides Devil Angel. Five is floor reset. Six is everything gets rerolled. D100. A one is a D4. People give me crap for not remembering th some things here and there. But I, I think I, I do pretty okay. Find a lot of the dice rooms to be underwhelming. I like the lucky penny, that's nice. Maybe blow this guy up. Pubes. We get nothing for putting more pubes in our mouth, but... Oh, I'm doing that for fun. 42% chance to get into our devil room. Dude had my number. Almost had me there. I hate Bombina. Bombina bothers me. Especially with these stupid rooms that are just so tight. Anything that has the falling rocks, too, is ugh. Like, the shadows could be a little bit more intense, you know? to telegraph where they're going to fall. We did great, though. We did get our deal with the devil. And it's, we got some eyedroppers, which I really, really like. I do think they're quite nice. And here's what I could do if I really wanted to. I could solve the lost. Should doink. Shadukin, grab that for free, and, uh... <laughs> Devil got scammed! Scammed! You got played, sucker! Have you ever paid this boss out? You know, I think I tried at one point in time, but every single time that I try... The boss freaking dies. Because I have some sort of contact damage or or some nonsense that ends up ruining the whole thing. Boss is bad at this game. Am I? Looks like a soul heart dropped in the uh, curse room. I should have been paying attention to that. Would it be worth it to try to go grab that soul heart? I'll see what's in there. What was this card? Temperance. Um, <laughs> I forgot about the temperance. What I'm gonna do is drop it here and just blow these up. Excuse me. It's like, here's what I could do, right? I could spend half of a red heart because I'll be able to get the money anyways. I'm gonna go into the room, try to nab the soul heart. Oh, I nabbed the soul heart. I, I needed to pay the soul heart first. Okay, I'm bad at this game. I'm horrible. You're right. I was thinking, once again, too far ahead of myself, of coming in here and, and getting rid of a soul heart first, and then trying to go get it. But I wouldn't need to do that, and then the red heart, and then the curse room. The idea was there. The execution was off. Look. 
I'm not too proud to admit. This is fine. All right, let's go. Let's do it. I mean, once again, it's, it's actually worth it for me to just fill this half soul heart. He's overthinking. We're looking good. This is a good run. Nothing's gonna get in our way. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. Ba -da -da -ba -da -da -ba. Wasn't our item room again? It's been so long. It's been about 45 years since we went in there. Who remembers? Unsubbed. Somebody remembers. The cookie, fortune cookie. Thank you, chat. What's that in the back of Isaac's head? I took three puberty pills. It gives you a beard, like a little scraggly beard, but it looks weird when you turn around. I guess it's supposed to look better when you don't have a full head of hair. You have like a scraggly thing going on. Yield scraggle look. Tears down is not my favorite. Our tears are kind of low. Tears are low. Because it is actually a tears down to pick up the sides. The bummer. Gimpy, enemies have a chance to drop half red hearts. Queen of hearts, just a bunch of health. Queen of hearts. Beep, beep, boop. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Better believe we're gonna try to go for a blood bag. Use that blood bag to pay the other machine. Or not. You used to be able to scam the machine with iframes. You can no longer do that. Okay, so smart money says that I just hit the blood machine or the blood bag now. It gives you five hearts of healing. Or a full health up plus four. So it totally worked actually to have this weird money build and go for deals of the devil, right? Because we needed our health, so giving it up for deals of the devil seemed silly, but this is this is working out great. Because with health you can get more health. It dies. I think I'm gonna blow this guy up. Yo-ho, blow the man down. And with 99 cents, I don't even need the money anymore. I might as well go for this thing and see if we can get some... I don't know. Nice things. No. Okay, so keep... Remember that there's a no in here. If we find a library, we're going to want to grab that. Taking no into a library guarantees Book of Virtues, which is one of the best things in the entire game. We're on one. We're on one today for Isaac. We're on top of our stuff. You guys taking notes? You're wondering why it guarantees Book of Virtues. It's because Book of Virtues actually isn't an active item. So no prevents active items from spawning. You go into a room which strictly gives you active items, save for one, a book that is actually passive. Take note of your item room in your shop. That's also a solid idea, but I don't mind getting rid of IV bag at 99 coins. 70 now, but... I don't know. It's a good idea, though. I don't really need the small amount of stats that I'm currently getting, right? I could, I could deal without. Hematemesis. When you have no health, it's just like a really cool thing to find. What if we take no for the crystal ball? Take no for the crystal ball. So you're saying, take 
no and then play the machine more and it will give me the active item how does it i'm he lost me in that one like it would pay with a, a different thing yee yeah i'm gonna take it now so i don't forget 0.59 damage is okay we'll we'll, we'll deal with that Swallowed M80 for Blood Dono and Confessionals. What Swallowed M80 do? That's that's one I just I, I have not stored away in the the memory bank. Destroys them without destroying them. Pays out insane. Take damage and explode. It explodes you but doesn't destroy. Oh, 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 you're saying, like, take the Swallowed M80 and then use IV Bag to deal damage? Yeah, it's like basically a Kamikaze build at that point in time. I see what you mean. I thought you were telling me to use that on the machines. And I was like, saying use that on enemies. Gives payout like you blew it up without blowing it up. That's what we're telling you to do exactly. So you're saying it blows up the machine without blowing up the machine? Oh, I've never seen that before. Is that a glitch? Yep, indeed. Correct. Yes. We can have our cake and eat it too. Huh, I didn't know about that one. Probably mostly because chat's lying and it's not real. Chat's still stuck in the matrix. Wake up. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border near Helgen. Sounds like you guys are just discussing how to cheat. Squabbles. Family squabbles. You hate to see it. I wasn't going to be there. Worth it to... <laughs> grab this. No, probably not. Seraphim? What do you have? A Nazal health up? Oh, I have a... I can see forever. I forgot about that. Earthy Perth, Perth, a row. Yeah. Hmm. Why do I feel like I had a good idea for what to use Perthro on here? Um. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Oh! You have an always see secret room pill active right now. I don't need another blood bag, I guess? I could purr through that? Last floor secret room. Yeah, that's probably what I'm thinking of. That's my, my yeah. brain's trying to be like, we roll that thing. The, the secret room pool. We did say, we said we were gonna go look, find a, a purr throw. A fur throw. Kazio, 10 months, say man. Hope you've been well. Have you got on your Christmas what have you got on your Christmas wish list? You know, I'm... I just... I don't know. I, I never think about people buying me anything. What the heck? I, and I'm historically bad... Uh, a, a bad person to buy gifts for. Because if there's something that I really, really need, I'll find a way to just get it. Or convince myself I don't need it. Yara the Perthro! Oh, way ahead of you. Shop refresh. Okay, let's just go ahead and buy as much as we can buy. Of course, we're going to get like a little baggie of pills or something that's going to completely blow it. But I have two Perthros. So, that's a thing. Is there anything I'd like to charge up? No. This just gives you a free charge.
There's my baggie. Little dust in the baggie. This is Eden, correct? Bleep, 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 bleep. For me, the best gift is sweets because I feel guilty when I buy them for myself and I buy the stuff I need when I need it. Yeah, but then again, there's the whole thing inside of me that's like if someone buys me uh, candy or sweets or, you know, whatever it is, I'm just going to eat those things, and I'm trying not to do that, and so, you know, then there's the whole, like, guilt of someone bought me that thing, and so I, I should eat it, I can't let it go to waste, and... Why did you put this curse on me? Bye, Hut's a pet duck. My neighbors raise ducks. They let me hold them. It's pretty cool. Ooh, ah, ooh, eh, ooh. Phantom, Puts 23 high, months. Puts high, puts low, puts love. Thank you for that. You know, you are used to watching on YouTube when you try to pause the video, forgetting it's not pre recorded. You butt, you are butted to butching. On you, but all right, we're gonna go ahead and birth throw that. You know, that's kind of the same thing. I don't want to be that guy, but technically, chat, technically, right? I am recording this for YouTube at the same time as I'm streaming it. And it takes a little bit of a delay for it to get to you. So what you are seeing is something that has technically been recorded already via my computer locally. I just, hey. Bag of pills is another bag of pills. I was in disbelief of the game asking 35 for coin purse for a second. What is this bullshit? Boom, 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 boom. Al just unfortunately cannot help me on this current situation. But I might take my blood bag now. Thank God those blocks are there. Oof. Lots pre records his stream confirmed. Hot type, hot type. Hot type, hot type. Thanks, Sonic. Kiranaka, 93 months. You knock it off. You stop that, you. 93 months. Oops, I went too hard. Went one too hard there. I got a little carried away. Take the M80 so we can show you the truth. Uh, yeah, no, I, I believe you, and we should definitely try that out next time, but, uh, we have Cracked Crown, and no. We have Glory in front of us. I, since I do have Shop Refresh, I think it would make sense for me to save 127 cents. It's getting expensive right now, and we could buy, you know, twice the amount if I just be smart about my purchases, right? We're gonna have a shop in the future. Greed's gonna, gonna be in one of them, but it's only Caves 2. Uh, so what we're gonna do, do I wanna keep no for for the Devil Deal potentially? Yeah, come back for Cracked Crown. I mean, call me crazy that I, I, I just keep the, the no. Super Greed, XL Floor. You get so many res from M80, it's insane. Actually insane. Thank you. 
flanky. Could have perthrow that, but I could just save my perthrow as well. Yeah, it will be easier to get chaos from shop. For science and all the sort, I vote for no. Yeah, but I want to see swallowed M80. I need a gulp. I need to swallow that swallowed M80. Cracked Crown is just too good with any stats. What is it right now? It gives me 0.92 damage and 0.39 uh, range. Buy the pills. I don't want to buy the pills. You can't make me buy the pills. Pilsner. I'm not going to do it. No. Uh... <sighs> the bag of pills, but you want gulp. Oh. Uh, uh, it's not gonna give it to me and you know it. Waste 35 cents and for what? Ooh, stopwatch. Rain. Damn it, chat! Go. Chat, you're the best. You guys are so smart. But now I have to choose- I have to choose between Cracked Crown and Swallowed M80! You guys are little shits. I know that. <laughs> hermit, Hermit. I don't even look at these. Little assholes. Just text on my screen. Take the crown. Now we can take broken syringe. Here's your stupid swallowed M80, you stupids. That are beautiful, nice people that help me out all the time. Purple heart, let's go. Crown to make up for all that lost range. Oh! Are you ready for this? Oh, Lee, Mo, Lee, we did it, y'all. We did I not say no? Did I not say that no was the right way to go? Chat. I got a per throw as well. I think I I might take this because IV bag with this makes sense to me. And then we are going to reroll these things. Uh, Doctor Fetus is super cool, but not what I want right now. Heck yeah, Huts. Never punished. Big brain time. Ooh. Definitely gonna go with these two. Ludo is just its not my favorite thing. And it's gonna move so freaking slow right now, it would get me killed. Red Heart's gonna get me into my curse room. Me, 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 me. Gulp. I can see forever. Hey, range back up. We're gonna like this. Am I exploding my wisps? I think I'm blowing up my own wisps. With swallowed M80. Oh, I didn't keep anything to get out. Oh, well. That's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for this. So if you're saying I go like this. And the machine explodes. It's chance based. M80 has to trigger. Are you sure that M80 maybe doesn't trigger on the uh, machines? Are you sure?
Hoping to get more luck pennies here from my razor now. Sweet and divine razor of mine. Backstabber? Betrayal? I mean? And maybe has a 50% chance of exploding. Hey, wow, do you guys know that it explodes and gives you prizes and doesn't actually go away? I just found this out just now. Wait, how why didn't it do that time? I'm gonna call it the huts break. Do I have to leave and come back every time? Wow, that's crazy! Me, 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 pubes. Puberty. Gulp. Yeah, I suppose. No reason not to at this point in time. What a run! Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's not good with IV bag, but I'm gonna take it. Oh. Don't threaten me with a good time. Three cents probably worth it for the chance of a lifetime. Reverse judgment. Reverse judgment is reroll machine. Oh man! Can you imagine this with the chaos, though. We got our book, and I should be happy. I could still use it in here on the one. It's chaos, right? So it doesn't make sense for me to um, like wait for a devil deal or anything, just besides the fact that it could have more than one item in it. You guys, I don't think it works more than once. Wow, definitely not gonna work there. Use it in your shop. I could use it in the shop because I could potentially get more act. No, I can't because I got no. Which blows the whole shop break. But did get us a book. Dropped a second penny twice, so unlucky drop. It dropped a second penny twice. You're saying it blew up, but it only gave me a penny twice. Hmm. Doubt. Or maybe it, the game thinks it's already blown up, right? So it doesn't give you another prize for blowing it up. Wait for your other shop. I could also just rip it. Golden M80 apparently triggers 100% of the time. I could... Probably use it best in like a secret room, right? Do like that. What's up, Johnny boy? What's up? 15 months. Welcome back, Johnny boy. Johnny boy? Johnny boy? Secret room no longer matters, right? Yeah, with chaos, you're right. I said that earlier and then I'm I'm back on it. Johnny man. Merman, dad. Merman. That was my bad. I thought I could make it. Kablamo swallowed M80 damage. Ba 
Just need money goes power. I could go for another trinket. Not that one, please. No, I see you. Anything in there? Anything at all? Karma. Not like you get health for donating to your donation machine or something. Slash a beggar. We have a donation machine. You know, something like that. I don't remember how karma works. Maybe it's a chance for something to pay out when you do this. Hi, your angel. Did we want angel? I don't even know what we're doing anymore. We're in it now. Health, spawn a beggar or get a penny. I don't even want that. Formion, Necro 1. We got him. Let's just pop in. 50% chance Angel and we, we got a Devil. That's just not worth it. I don't even feel like using my judgment here. It's a bad item. I'd rather get like an angel room maybe with multiple options and then pop down a judgment. Maybe. Got minus uh, shot speed and probably minus normal speed because I didn't see any other minus there and our health stayed the same. Yep. Fight the angel, reroll the key pieces too. It's a great idea as well. Hopefully we get an angel room with all them options. Batteries ain't nothing. Swallowed M80. You think you're cool? Ate us because they ain't us. What'd you say about anus? They anus? Harry stinking bee, sister. All right, we going. Me watch and sleep, lol. What do these wisps do? Nothing. Or is it like chance to drop money? Like I haven't seen them do anything. Ooh. Karma might make more sense here if we're trying to get more health, but... Mr. Streams, feels good to be back. Oh yeah. Just contact damage. All this 64. Great number.
Nice health drop. Thank you for that. See the picture of the Tim looking caterpillar? Yeah, I did see that. Just right before I went live. YOLO. Evil charm. We like you. Plus two luck up. Immune to the effects of... Poison and stuff and other things. The things of that one place of that one guy. Burning. Almost walked right into it. When flight. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. No complaints there. There we go. Now it's working. It's almost like guaranteeing a solar drop or something when M80 explodes. You seeing that? What's up with that? Synergy? That one didn't give me one. Just getting lucky, I guess. That's so many flipping soul hearts. Holy moleskins, Batman. Is Guppy, or not Guppy, is uh, Gimpy. Is Gimpy affected by luck? Please give me a, a non-rigged shop, please. Please, please, please. Local beanbag. Three months, what's up? back to you. Yes, it is. Because we do have a high amount of luck right now. How much is Gimpy affected by luck? I mean, I was going to say, we know what that is, but we actually don't know what that is. It's just a blood bag. Okay. They weren't going to do anything special with it. Got it. 50% chance of 22 luck. I'm wondering if it's almost like counting as I'm taking self damage twice every time I explode. Because it just seems like it's, it's too much. You know, too much. We have too much red health. Infinite money slash health. Explode that dude! This guy? Could have used him for things. Can't anymore. I can see my house from here. Ooh. 
Lucky pennies, please. If I keep doing this, though, I, I could just keep buying things from the shop, right? Until the cost of the item is above 999. <laughs> I think they only go to 99 cents though, right? Infinite money glitch for real. That was a lucky penny. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's kind of funny. Like, we're doing really, really well. But you'd think that with a break like this and how long we spent, almost an hour in the game, you'd think that we would have something stronger. Oddly enough. Yum -ba -dum -bum -bum. Or we'd have flight. Weep. Guess who's going to be in our shop? Chat. You already know. You already know. Nobody. But some sexy deals. Uh, Curse of the Blind is a, is a big old middle finger here. I'm gonna go for it. What's the worst that could happen, right? What's the worst thing that's gonna happen to me? Besides missing no, shut your mouth, deadly cookie. You zip it over there. Cursed Eye, I don't think Cursed Eye would stop us from winning. Guardian Angel, oh, I love that. Ouija board, tears up, I'm, I'm enjoying the tears ups. Magic scab. Mom's purse. You have chaos. Thank you for reminding me of things I already know. Mom's wig. Cricket's head. Plus eight damage. Small rock. Smallest rock is. I want fire rate. It's going to give me soy milk because I said that. Got you, fam. Bam, soy milk. Star of Bethlehem. So good. So good. So good that I got you. Boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. When I hold you in my arms. I have way too much red health. Way too much red health here. Your love can do me no harm and not be you. Nice. Like sugar and spice. I might just go. Let's just go. Up with that. We just follow Star of Bethlehem. Feels so nice. According to the wiki, exploding dono machines multiple times was unintended, but left in as a feature. But if Ed didn't write that, then... Right. Left in as a feature. What does it really mean? Says who? Sounds like somebody was like, hey, Ed, do you care about this? And he's like, if it's not about my cat game, shut up. Get away from me. And they're like, interesting. Left as a feature. Got it. Ooh. Co-op beta tomorrow. Yeah. We're definitely gonna take this guy. We did get our angel room, but I'm not gonna be using my judgment in here, right? I'm just gonna take my farting baby and go. Should I fight the dude for fun? Gosh, that was so fun. Tinted rock in the boss room. It's gonna make you happy. You gonna play with someone tomorrow, Huts? No. But soon. I already have somebody that I reached out to. To do some co-op with. They agreed. Put the feelers out, because we want to get our Tainted Jacob uh, achievements. And I'm gonna use other people to help me get that, because I've already proved myself twice, once again. Don't care about my, uh... 
Korra Babylon at the moment. We're doing we're doing great. Right, so more concerned about not accidentally doing something dumb or, or dying somehow. Keep the red health. That's not optimal gameplay. Someone, we have a surprise guest. I'd be happy to co-op with you. My 45 streak recommends me. I don't know, guys. We probably won't make it to Hush. There are other ways into the Hush fight. Am I going to be concerned about using my Ivy Bag to get into the curse room? Nah. According to ZM Banshee on the underscore Killburn GitHub. Okay, so I'll change my tune now and say somebody brought it up to Killburn. And then Kilburn was like, oh, yeah, uh, Ed, do you think we should fix that? And Ed's like, bro, if it's not my cat game, shut your mouth. And then Kilburn's like, yeah, we're leaving it. Tell me you don't think the exact same thing in your heart. Listen to your heart when it's calling to you. You know that's what happened. Can't you feel it? Okay, good shot, mate. Stupid room that forces you to keep moving and then hits you with that. Listen to your heart when it's calling for you. Listen to your heart. There's nothing else you can do. I don't know where you're going. And I don't know why. Listen to your heart. Oh, she tells you goodbye. Anybody here not ever heard that song? Anybody here have no idea what I'm talking about? I'm gonna take that. We're gonna go into here. It's super cool, but I'm not gonna use it. At this point in time, though, we could just wait for the chest. Right? And if I took the other key piece, we could fight Mega Satan just to rub it in his face. How about that? Remix or the original? Yes. What if I did this and I got so many prizes? I knew it. I don't even need the prizes. It's fun, though. There's a big-ass ghost. If you haven't heard it, where have you been? I don't know where you're going, and I don't know why you haven't heard this song yet. Tell me you're a millennial without- or you're not a millennial. You're younger. You're pre-millennial without telling me you're pre-millennial. That's what I meant to say. Pretty sure I've heard the remix. Definitely heard the original. Is 1996 millennial? What's the cutoff for millennial? Who knows? That would be post millennial. Never heard of that rapper. Would it be post Malone? Sharp key? Oh my god, let's see it in the chat. Grew up with this song in the radio on car trips. That's please. I'm Gen X, so I know it. Or 97, I know that song. There's always the people too in the in the chat that take the whole like Millennial, Gen X, Gen Z thing, super literal. We, we need to keep the whole, like, generation hating thing. Besides boomers, they can fuck off. They just, like, go, just move on, move on, go. Uh, besides that... 
we're all in the same boat together. And and none of the hate is real. And so I you know, you don't need to be like, oh, but I know it, I know it, and I'm Gen X. Like, it's okay. It's okay, bro. I'm not actually hating on you. It was a joke. I think if you speed up, Bethlehem catches up faster. Zoomer. Are you my baby's dad? Technically, since I'm not an American, our generational cutoff is not the same as yours. You can hate on Gen Alpha. I saw a thing today. I saw a thing where this person was like, Millennials are the worst and they have the worst children. And let me give you this one story. And it was basically this girl that was like, I'm super bought in on generational hate and trying to turn it into some sort of TikTok trend off of one example of a bad parent. You have bad kids. You have bad parents. They're here and they're here to stay. But to make generalizing, like sweeping statements to try to pit large groups of people, generations against each other, so that we can all, what, start battling? Nah, just sit down. Shut up. You ran into a bad parent, that's fine. Bad parents are bad parents, and we should, we should definitely, you know, make fun of them, but... You shut up. Unless you're talking about boomers, then, like, we, gloves are off. Generalizations aren't just anecdotal. It's exactly what it was, right? It was like you had one example. Some woman came in with her shitty kids, and you're like, "Oh, millennials are bad." Cool story, bro. Basically, all of TikTok summed up in it. Yeah, there's a whole section though, a weird section about like feet. I don't know. It's not. <laughs> All encompassing. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. I do like the idea of taking this. Probably not gonna get too many red hearts. This sounds like fun. And then I'm just gonna throw this down just because. Uh, I'm wondering if I if I explode, would I actually get my bomb effects? Sa Sad bombs does synergize with M80. Ah! No! We don't have a curse on right now, right? Yep. Yep. So sad bombs would have been pretty cool, but... That's okay. I'm happy. It's a great run. Got a lot of luck, too. It's really a shame that you can't pick up your uh, reroll machine and take it with you. I didn't even see that bomb. Everything synergizes with M80. Gen Alpha is growing up with exceptional access to people like Tate. I have far too many aggressive, selfish, hateful alpha kids and F. You thought school was bad when you were there. I've had classes of eight-year-olds swear me out. Yeah. Shitty kids. I remember my, uh, my ex, though, so, worked at daycare. And this was probably like 12 years ago. And, and she told me about how the kids were just literal demons. They were demon spawn. And so I'm, I'm just thinking that it's just kids, maybe. But, you know, m maybe there is something with Gen Alpha. I don't know. But I think... A lot of kids, especially in those those preschools, certain certain preschool daycare programs are just actual Satan. And that's why they're in those daycare programs. It's the specific ones. Lock up, nice. They love pushing boundaries. 0, 0.0 attention span. Gen Z and Millennial weren't that bad early on. 
That's tough to say. That's tough to say. As a millennial, looking back and remembering the temperament of all the kids around me and the attention span of all the kids around me. Tough to do that without rose-tinted glasses or even just anything. Like, accurately remembering. I mean, I was bullied a lot. So I don't have very many good things to say about kids back in the day. Uh, it was pretty rough. We're, we're talking back in the day when using uh, things like you're gay was was just so common. Saying the word retarded, uh, F-A-G-G-O-T was just like, was just, you just said that. That was just something you did. You know, it's horrible, horrible shit that happened back in the day. So I don't know. You could be right. You could be right, but I don't feel it. Kids don't do that still. There is this like resurgence of of people saying the word retarded. That's like they're they're it, it's it's I feel like it's not the same, but it's like the younger generation, the kids that weren't there for 9-11, just like the amount of 9-11 jokes that I see all the time, it's like Oh, you weren't there, so you don't know how triggering all of that is. Got it. And you think that's funny because you're not triggered by it, but you're making a whole lot of other people upset by making 9-11 jokes. It's because you're too young, you weren't there. Okay, just making sure. Just, I, I get it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You're an edgelord. You got it. Sure. People would say... I don't know what that is. I'm not going to say it. There are 9-11 jokes in O2, man. I don't know. Oh, totally. I mean, there there were jokes from people that were trying to trigger people, but it, like, it went away, and now there's, once again, like I said, a resurgence of 9-11 jokes and, and kids that think saying all of those slurs that we basically stopped saying some people never said it rural us never stopped saying those things ever but there were no 911 jokes in 1900 though when i bring up things like this there's always an exception and it, it's really difficult to have a conversation with a chat that's just only looking for the one exception to say you're wrong because that one way over there. You know, that's some that's some Fox News shit. You know I have a point. Nineteen hundred they had plague. Plague jokes. Ooh. What we got one shot we one shot the boss how about mega satan that's too soon for play jokes please yeah no i want to have a productive conversation with you guys i'm telling you that if, if you're going to do the whole there's one exception for this thing that i found and therefore you're you're wrong and false which you and i do a lot it gets really annoying it gets really annoying I can imagine an edgelord making jokes about the plague in those times. Yeah, if they knew how to write. Some spicy cave drawings. I know that the, the that's not cavemen, okay? Some spicy scrawls on some parchment. This is good. This is a good run. Tragedy is frequently processed into comedy, both on an individual and societal level. I think that there were uh, a lot of 9-11 jokes from, from people back in the day that were just trying to be triggering. Right, and then you had this whole thing of like you're a piece of shit, or like I think that's really funny, and there was a divergence of people 
that were like, I'm okay in society, or I think I'm okay in society, and these people were like, I challenge everything, and I'm just an abrasive person, and I think that's really funny, right? And everyone just kind of went their separate ways, but now all of a sudden it's coming back together, and there's this resurgence of 9-11 jokes everywhere. And the same thing will have to happen. It's like, it's like the Big Bang. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I can't wait to see the comment section. Let's keep things civil, please. We're all on the same team. Every one of us. Let's stop trying to find exceptions to put each other down. And see the point through everything else. Alright? Let's all get along. Thanks. Bye.